From the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Jacob Riley. Well, good Friday morning, and boy, does it feel good to say Friday. We've seen a whiplash of weather this week. We had highs in the 90s the first half, dropped down to the 40s day before yesterday, and yesterday still saw those record low temperatures. We saw a record low maximum temperature of 58 degrees, and yesterday's low temperature was also a record low, coming in at 43. That cold front has brought us some winter-like air, but it looks like fall will make its return this week. Out there this morning, not a whole lot showing up on radar, but we do have a few areas of some patchy drizzle out there, so just be mindful of that as you head out the door this morning. Most of the precipitation is very light and weak over portions of central Oklahoma and north central Texas. That's all associated with that cold front that moved through earlier this week. All of that activity continuing to push on off to the east, but here in the Hub City, you can see we do have a cloudy sky with a few passing areas of drizzle here in town and we'll continue to see that for the next few hours. But by noon, that's whenever we will start to see a little bit more of breaks in the clouds with temperatures in the upper 50s and lower 60s. And then later on this afternoon, more sunshine by about four or five o'clock this evening. Probably a mostly sunny sky with those temperatures in the mid 70s. It's going to feel great out there. Get out there and enjoy the afternoon today. Maybe even go for a run or a walk. Get the kids out to the park. 75 for your high in Lubbock, 79 in Friona and Muleshoe. A bit warmer to our north and west because they will see that sunshine a little longer today and a little cooler to our south and east thanks to a little bit more of cloud cover. So what we're looking at now is a variable that we call relative humidity. That's just the amount of moisture we have relative to the temperature. So all it does is factor in dew point and temperature together. The lower the number just means there is a greater gap between the temperature and dew point, meaning that it is pretty dry. So it's going to be pretty dry out there this evening. But as we go overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning, notice we have some higher values popping up on our screen, and that could mean that we could see a little bit of fog overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. So just be mindful of that if you are going to be out on those roadways. So. That system of low pressure north of Denver will continue to move on off to into the Great Plains this weekend. But notice a little bit of a trough here as we head into Monday. That's what we like to call a backdoor cold front. Going to cool us back down into the upper 70s and lower 80s Monday into Tuesday. And by Wednesday, it looks like that trough will hang out with us, keeping our temperatures a few degrees below average. Now, when we take a look at rainfall, notice Lubbock is wedged right between the below average range and the above average range. So nothing too out of the ordinary for this time of year then or even into our 8 to 14 day outlook. So for today is going to be the coolest day out of the next seven, a high of 75. We will see a great day tomorrow for Texas Tech's first home game against Houston Baptist. Best of luck to the Red Raiders. Hopefully we'll bring home that win, Kathleen. And then next week we're all going to win with that forecast. High temperatures remaining in the middle to lower 80s under a partly to mostly sunny sky. Yeah, I think I would call that forecast a win. Let's hope the Red Raiders can bring home a win to go along with it too. Yeah, that would be fantastic. That would make a perfect week, I it think. Would. <laughs>